Now let us consider this reaction. We have to write products for this reaction. This is a aldehyde and this compound has alpha hydrogen. So in this case we will have aldol reaction. In the first step, we will have acid base reaction which minus will act as a base and it will abstract a alpha hydrogen. Alpha hydrogens are acidic in nature. And finally, a carb anion is generated. This carb anion is also called enolate ion. Enolate ion is resonance stabilized. So, we can write another resonating structure of enolate ion. So, enolate ion is resonance stabilized. Now, the next step. we will have nucleophilic attack by the carb anion on other aldehyde group. So, we will have a 5 membered ring carbon number 1 will contain CHO group carbon number 5 will have minus O and hydrogen. Now, the next step this molecule will react with water and it will abstract a proton. So, this is a stronger base than water. So, it will abstract a proton from water. And the final product is beta hydroxy aldehyde. So, this is aldol addition product. So, beta hydroxy aldehyde is the aldol addition product. Now, if I heat this addition product, it will be dehydrated easily by loss of one molecule of water. So, this hydrogen and this OH group gets eliminated. And finally, we will have alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde. 
So this is aldol condensation product. Since we are forming the carbon ion from the same molecule and the attack is also occurring in the same molecule, we call this reaction as intramolecular aldol reaction. So, this reaction is an example of intramolecular aldol reaction. So, in this case, we have a five membered ring formation. Now, if this compound is treated with NaOH, what will be the product? Again, this compound has alpha hydrogen. So, we will have aldol reaction. So, in the first step, we will generate the carb anion and this carb anion will attack on carbonylic carbon and we will have a six membered ring. carbon number 1 has CHO group and carbon number 6 has O minus. Now, in the next step we will have acid base reaction. So, this molecule will take H plus from water and finally, we will have beta hydroxy aldehyde. So, this is aldol addition product. If this product is heated, in acidic medium, it will dehydrate. So, we will lose this hydrogen and this OH that is dehydration and finally, we will have alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde. So, this is aldol condensation product. This time we have a six membered ring formation. This reaction is again example of intramolecular aldol because we are forming the carbon ion from the same molecule where this carbon ion is attacking on the same molecule other part of the molecule that has a carbonylic carbon. So, this is example of intramolecular aldol reaction.